Hi. Today we are going to explore on how you can create comic style images using stable diffusion. This is also an insight on how you can use other model checkpoints with stable diffusion. So we will use this model checkpoint here. Its name is Comic Diffusion. You can see what kind of results it provides. They are generated from different art styles. The creator of this model has defined six art styles here. Basically we can include them in our prompt and the images will be generated accordingly. So I'll show you how you can use this model. First go to this tab. Files and versions. Then scroll down. And you see this file comic diffusion version 2. So click on the name. Now it shows you some metadata information about the file. So the file is 2.13 GB. Assuming you have a good internet connection. Download the file by clicking the download button here. And wait for it to finish downloading. I have already downloaded the file so I'll move on. After you have downloaded the file. Upload it in your Google Drive. So here I have already uploaded it. Now we will use this in a Colab notebook. I have linked the Colab notebook in the description. Open the notebook and go to the file tab on top left. Then save a copy in drive. I have already done this step. So after that run the first cell only. It will show an authorization message which is normal. After that expand the files tab on the left. You will see a folder named G drive which contains your drive files. Here is the comic diffusion model checkpoint which we previously uploaded. Click on the three dots beside it. Then click on copy path. And paste the path over here. In this field named path to checkpoint. That's all we need. Now you can just run the remaining cells of the notebook one by one. After it loads the model then you will see a link like this. Open it and the stable diffusion web interface will load up. On the top left you can see that it is using the comic diffusion model checkpoint. So let's check one style. I'm not covering all the styles. You should try exploring the rest. For now we will try the Mario Alberti style. With a few prompts. I will utilize a negative prompt I took from a GitHub repo. We'll link that in the description as well. So let's try a few prompts and see what we get. A man looking out of the window in a city. Then Mario Alberti art style. It looks really detailed. Perhaps with upscaling you can get even finer details. Now let's try a portrait prompt. Portrait of a woman with ginger hair and green eyes. You can see the color green is spilling out to the whole picture. Regardless we have got our details the ginger hair and green eyes. So let's try one more prompt. Portrait of a warrior wielding a blade coated with fire. I'll remove the negative prompt so that there's a bit more freedom for the model. And let's see what we get. Okay looks impressive. I'll show you something interesting. Copy and paste the seed value from here to here. And try generating again. It's quite amazing right? Different warriors come up with the same fire blade. You can utilize this trick to generate multiple characters in the same pose and same weapon as shown here. So that's how you can set up and use the comic diffusion model. Make sure to explore the other art styles as well. I have provided the relevant links in the description. So that's all for now. Have a good day.